Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I've gotten a couple requests, so I figured I would actually answer those questions and actually get to the request. Basically, people have been asking me, how do I upgrade the RAM on my MacBook or MacBook Pro Unibody or Mac Mini, etc.? And basically, I actually have done this, so I'm going to let you know how to upgrade the RAM in your device. This video is going to be choosing your specific RAM. I'll upload a video later on how to actually take it out and put it into your laptop. So basically, first off, before I begin, this only works with MacBooks, MacBook Pro Unibodies, or Macs in general, like the Mac Mini, that have a removable back or access to the hardware. I'm pretty sure the new MacBook Pros, you cannot actually access the battery or anything, so you're not going to be able to get inside of the Mac. But as long as you can unscrew the bottom of your MacBook Pro or whatever your MacBook is or your laptop is, and as long as you can have access to that on your Mac Mini or Mac, this will allow you to work. So again, you have to have access to the internal hardware on the device that you're working on. So mine is the MacBook Pro from 2008. It actually is the Unibody MacBook that was soon after labeled a Pro. So this is the first Unibody Mac that they ever made. And so I do have access to the internal hardware and I have upgraded my RAM. Um, so I can show you that right now. As you can see, if I click about this Mac, it will show you that I have 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo and 5 gigabytes of 1067 megahertz DDR3 RAM. I did have 2 gigabytes when it came with the laptop and I felt like it, after 3 years I needed to upgrade it and it was a good speed boost so I did upgrade to 5 gigabytes of RAM and it works well. Um, now basically what RAM should you choose? Well there's a number of different sites that you can choose RAM from which I'm going to show you right now. The RAM that I chose was the Kingston Value RAM 4 gigabytes 1066 megahertz DDR3 notebook memory off of Amazon. Um, now, basically, the reason I bought this RAM was because it was four gigabytes and it was so cheap. It only cost me just above twenty bucks when I bought it. Um, so it was a great deal. But there are other websites you can use here that I'll show you, such as Newegg.com that sell RAM, um, MacMall.com that sell RAM, and this is actually the best thing about MacMall is that it's specifically for Apple, so it can show you exactly what you need to buy. Um, and yeah, before you actually think about buying RAM, you have to make sure that you match it up to your specs. So basically, go to About This Mac in the upper left by clicking the Apple logo and then About This Mac. Click More Info, and then click System Report. This is going to show you all the hardware of your computer or your Mac, whatever that is. So click Memory down here under Hardware, and as you can see, it shows me that I have two memory slots. One of them is 4 gigabytes DDR3 1067 megahertz that's the one I upgraded to and the second one is 1 gigabyte DDR3 1067 megahertz that's what it was beforehand you have to make sure that when you're upgrading your RAM you can up you have to match the megahertz and the type of RAM along with the you don't have to match the size but if you have two of these same slots it does slightly speed up your computer but I have not noticed any um, changes and it's not big enough to actually have the same memory stick in both of these slots unless you want to. So that's why I have two different memory sticks, a 4 gigabyte and a 1 gigabyte, but you can have the same one or different one, that doesn't matter. The two things you have to make sure that you match up are the type of RAM, the speed of RAM, um, and the actual pin number. So to show you guys how I did that, basically you just go online and as you can see this tells me that it's 1066 megahertz which matches my 1066 or 1067 megahertz on my Mac it's DDR3 which matches my DDR3 and for pin number you can scroll down as you can see it says 204 pin unbuffered so basically what you do is you just go to Google and type in RAM pin number on MacBook 2008 unibody so you just type in your MacBook model and as you can see, it says, you click here, scroll down, it says that the RAM is, um, scrolling down, some sites, it might take you a little bit of research to find this, because some sites don't tell you this right away, as you can see, I didn't see that on the first site. So, as you can see, this one specifically says 200 pin um so yeah you have to basically make sure that you match up the 200 pin find the right macbook model for you um and mine worked um it may have i may be messing up it may have been 200 pin or 204 pin i'm not really sure but you have to match up the megahertz the so the speed the type and the actual pin number 
Once you match those three up, go ahead and re make sure you read the reviews also on any site that you buy the RAM from, um, which will help you in purchasing to let you know if it's worked with people. And then you can go ahead and order. And, and I saved a ton of money by ordering Kingston Value RAM. Again, you can go on Newegg and save money or Mac Mall. Mac Mall, the great thing about it is if you go here and then you go to Memory Stick, it actually walks you through the purchase of the Memory Stick and which one it will work for. So it works great, and that's why I love it about Mac Mall, but you can purchase uh, RAM from anywhere, and once you match up the specs, it should be a great um, great upgrade. So go ahead and check that out, make sure you match those three up, and make sure you save money, and also, just for future reference, RAM is known to arrive um, dead on arrival or working, so make sure you get a valuable company like Kingston or Crucial RAM, those tend to arrive working on arrival, you don't want to order a crappy third-party brand that just arrives dead on arrival you want to get a good brand so make sure that you follow through with that make sure you save money and yeah when, when I come back in the next video of the series I will be uploading a video on how to actually upgrade the RAM how to choose between um, or how to how to actually upgrade the RAM put it in your computer how to put in two memory sticks if you bought a dual channel and how to put in one again I put in one and it does not mess up my computer at all it actually makes it faster so I will be making a video on that dual channel single channel and how to actually upgrade so stay tuned for that be sure to subscribe for that and also if you aren't already be sure to follow me on Twitter bookmark my website like my Facebook fan page follow me on Google Plus and subscribe to my other partner channel down in the description I greatly appreciate it and yeah I'll catch you in the next video guys Peace.